Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want to give you guys uh, kind of my EV playbook at the way I approach the EV space. So, um, a lot of you guys have been asking questions as to, hey, what uh, you know, stock should I buy? What EV car stock should I buy? What EV battery stock should I buy? And so, I just want to give you guys an overview, kind of like the landscape, the way I look at it, um, just kind of like a tunnel vision. Um, my approach to the EV space overall. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So this whole crave of um, EV, it's, I mean, we started talking about is when Tesla came around, that you see that the government and uh, some part of the government is pushing towards electric vehicles and climate change and all these other things. And so we see the evolution, it's coming. So when Tesla first came around, even the major car manufacturers didn't really think that Tesla was gonna be anything. Ford, uh, Chrysler, GMC, they stuck in the old ways. Now look at where Tesla is sitting at. And then look at now, the government is actually pushing towards a cleaner um, energy or I would say electric vehicles per se. So how do you play the space? How do you benefit from it? Should you buy just the cars or should you buy um, maybe lithium? Like where do you start? So here again, it's an overview. So we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna show you guys the different parts that I see as the ecosystem of the um, electric vehicle because it's not just the vehicles that I worry about. I worry about the entire spectrum of what it takes um, for that overall space to function. So we're gonna jump right in here. I'm gonna show you guys. So uh, again, when it comes to uh, electric vehicle, I, I look at multiple things. So the first one I look at is mining. And when it comes to mining, we're thinking about lithium because lithium is one of the key components that goes into electric vehicles. We've seen that hydrogen fuel cells are coming, but they're not there yet. So for now, lithium is key. So the second thing I look at is batteries. So you, batteries are made out of lithium, lithium ion batteries or lithium batteries. Um, so who is building batteries? How do we benefit from, from the companies building batteries? Third, I look at, at the cars. Who is manufacturing the cars? We're looking at Tesla, we're looking at Lucid, we're looking at Neo, all these other companies like who is building the cars that are, are gonna power this space. And then next thing, I'm looking at buses, electric buses. Um, we look at the transportation system right now. Most urban cities have buses and those buses run on fossil fuel. So if we want to replace those, which companies are dominating that space? Because Tesla is not gonna make buses because it's not really their space. So who is gonna dominate that space? We want to be able to see that. And finally, when the buses and the cars all break down 10, 15 years from today, what happens to those uh, lithium batteries? Should we just put them in a dumpster? No, we want to recycle them and use it. Just like plastic today, you recycle plastic and use it. So it's the same thing with these batteries. Instead of mining more lithium and, and, and going and finding lithium, we can just recycle the lithium from the batteries and use it again and, and continue that process. So again, my approach is I'm looking at mining, I'm looking at battery, I'm looking at cars, I'm looking at buses, I'm looking at recycling. So let's kind of jump right now. I'm gonna show you guys. So on the mining, I'm looking at companies like uh, Lithium America. And again, uh, this, this is not an exhaustive list and I'm not saying this is like the top ones that I'm looking at, but um, I'm just showing you guys, like for example, I've talked about Lithium America here on the channel. So that is one that I'm looking at. And the reason is because this is a company that's still up and coming. They haven't even started mining, but they have a huge potential to be able to be great. So I wanna get in early so that I can grow with them. Second one I'm looking here is Sigma Lithium. Again, another small lithium mining company. So I'm looking at these little uh, companies because they have a massive upside. So this is not a standard list. Again, I'm saying this is the way I would approach it. And then Millennial Lithium, which is actually uh, in the process of being bought out by Lithium America. So just kind of approach it from that perspective. Then the next one I'm looking at, again, I said battery. I'm looking at companies like Quantum Skip because they are working on this solid state battery, which is the next generation of um, electric uh, vehicle batteries. 
So I, I like the company, what they're doing, but yet they, they don't have a product yet. I'm looking at Lucid. Lucid has uh, their battery system right now seems to be one of the best in the market. You see they've actually beat Tesla as far as range uh, with their Lucid Dream A going about 520 uh, miles on one charge. So I like and they, uh, Lucid America and they are planning to expand that to other companies and then Tesla as well as far as battery because I mean they've been in this space for as long as we know. And then now when we talk about cars again I'm looking at Tesla because they have I mean they lead that space. I'm looking at Lithium uh, because they, they actually lead the space. I'm looking at Rivian. I'm looking at Neo. So again these are not a list that are like comprehensive. I'm just giving you guys guidance as to the way I approach it. So you have to go do your own research and find companies that really works for you. So buses, I'm looking at Proterra, um, which build buses, and I'm looking at uh, BYD. And then another one that's up and coming is um, Arriver. They haven't started building buses yet. They don't have anything in production, but um, I think the target not right now is somewhere to, in sometime in 2022 and 2023. So they're building uh, electric buses that would drive in our city. So that is the way um, I approach it. So again, just from that perspective, now the lithium is done, the, the, the batteries are done, the car break down. What do we do with that lithium? We recycle it. So who am I looking at? Redwood material. This one is not public yet. So I'm watching just to see the minute they say they're going public, I'm gonna jump either through a spark or if they do a direct IPO, I'm all in. I'm gonna buy it because the guy that started Redwood Material worked at Tesla and then left and went and started Redwood Material and it's closer to the Tesla factory in Nevada. So I think either Tesla can buy them out or they can work directly with Tesla. So I like Redwood Material even though it's not public yet. And then uh, Ly, uh, Ly Cycle is another one. They, they just went public uh, through a Spark. So I kind of like that one. I want us to keep an eye on that one right now um, for recycling space. So, and then obviously Tesla has mentioned that they want to recycle the batteries from their, from their own cars. So if you buy Tesla, they want to recycle the batteries uh, uh, once the car breaks. So I don't know how they're going to approach that, but that's something that um, Tesla is actually working on. So that's the way I approach these different uh, electric vehicles. So from, from that perspective, I look at it from a holistic standpoint, not just um, looking at just the cars. So it's a, it's a whole spectrum. So start from mining of lithium, companies that mine lithium, companies that build batteries, um, companies that build cars that use those batteries, um, and then companies that can actually, at the end of the day, recycle those batteries. Um, again, that's the way I would approach it. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this approach? Do you have a different approach? Um, and also, if you think of any other companies that do some of the things that I mentioned here um, from that, that life cycle of lithium and the EV space, the playbook, let me know in the comment section. Drop those in the comment section. So drop your top um, lithium mining company, your top uh, electric vehicle company, your top battery company, your top uh, car uh, company, your top bus company, and your top recycling company down in the description below so we can all learn. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, again, like I said, Moomoo has this crazy promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit any amount, $1, $2, you get five free stocks somewhere between $9 and $3,500. I'll put the links in the description below. And as always guys, do your due diligence, don't be a greedy savage, stay motivated.